So as you all know, it wouldn't be possible for us to be here without you guys. So first off, I want to say thank you. And uh, there's a saying that uh, it's often said that uh, it often takes a village to raise a child. You know, this big village, the village would have many families all working towards the same goal. Every family would have its little quirk, its kooks, its dreamers, its carrying our humanity people just looking for a fight. And this is just to name a few. But the important thing is this village is all meant for moving towards a common goal. That's how I feel this church is. We're a bunch of families working together for a common purpose. That is to worship and to love. Through this village, we come across other young children and uh, each of us gives a little lesson here and there about uh, life. Even such small things as uh, teaching them how to tie their shoes, helping them with their homework, mentoring a child who's a little lost, and uh, sh even sharing their gifts. I'm sure a bunch of you have had uh, some children about to go to college, not sure what they want to do. But you also have that one child that you have to talk to about putting a fork in an outlet and why that's a bad idea. <laughs> so all these are really vital lessons and honestly we're all blessed that uh, we've had someone teach us these lessons. But hidden among these people are the community leaders. Their hard work, dedication often goes unnoticed but their long-term effects are felt throughout as you can see. We're all standing here. And uh, because of those people I would especially like to give thanks to them. For without their talents, without their investment, we would have, just wouldn't be here standing in front of you, able to reach this moment and help us in our, in our uh, spiritual and academic growth. So let's say thank you to our junior worship leaders, the San Victorias, Corpus, and Gutierrez families. Teaching our junior years. Oh, we spent this one.